I've been fighting with myself way too long. Need to quit it like it's quitish with the golden boss. None of my best friends don't care at all. And I'm gonna watch them fall like the violent war. And I said what I said. Peace. What's good, guys? How's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. Let's talk NXT TakeOver 36. It was a very decent show. And I think this is the last time we'll probably get a TakeOver. I don't see any anymore in the foreseeable future. And uh, it is what it is. You know, I know a lot of people are going to be fucking upset about that. But who gives a shit? NXT was never meant to be... WWE's version of the indies. It was never meant for that. It really should have never even been that. And um, I'm ready for the changes. And I think that change is a good thing. And, you know, now that AEW is legit, legit competition, WWE has no choice but to completely rehaul and revamp NXT. It's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. AEW really has killed NXT. I'm not going to fucking bullshit with you guys. You know, it, it's, it's the truth. You know, AEW is only two and a half years old, almost three years old, and uh, it's wrecked NXT. It's completely wrecked NXT. And, you know, I'm fine with it being revamped. I'm fine with it being overhauled. I, I truly am. So, let's get started with this review, shall we? But before we do, I want you guys to hit the like button and subscribe and comment down below. So, we kick things off with... LA Knight versus Cameron Grimes for the Million Dollar Championship. This was a very good match, very good opener. Um, it didn't go long. I think it went maybe about 15 minutes. It was great seeing Ted DiBiase lock in the Million Dollar Dream on LA Knight as well as Cameron Grimes throughout the match various times and then towards the end we see Ted DiBiase punch LA Knight and lock in the Million Dollar Dream. And then Grimes hits the cave-in for the one, two, three. And he is the new Million Dollar Champion. So that's cool. I don't know what they're going to do with L.A. Knight. I don't know. He very well could be main, main roster bound. I don't know. Uh, he may even be in NXT. I mean, uh, he may be in the NXT title hunt in due time. So that could happen. I, I, I don't know, but that's where I think he probably will end up. He'll probably go and be in that main event scene. I could very well see him, you know, be NXT champion one day. And, uh... That's what might happen. Next, we had uh, Dakota Kai versus Raquel Gonzalez for the NXT Women's Championship. This is a very good match. Dakota Kai, this is uh, actually one of her best matches, in my opinion, that she's done. And um, in my opinion, Dakota really impressed me in this match. There was a couple crazy spots, a couple holy shit moments. But in the end, um, uh, Dakota Kai, she goes in for a haluba kick. And she's met with a chica bomb or a choke bomb from the middle rope by Gonzalez for the one, two, three. I gave that a three out of five. So I believe that Dakota is main roster bound. We've seen her a couple of times on main event so hopefully she'll go to smackdown but more than likely she'll go to monday night raw and if she does it's career suicide it is 
career suicide. If she goes to Raw, Dakota Kai is done. If she goes to Raw, she's done. She is completely fucking done. No bullshit. She's done. She is done. Raw in general is a nightmare. It's a hellhole. It is a literal hell hole. And it's a literal death sentence. It, it literally is. That's what Monday Night Raw is. It's a fucking, ugh, it's a fucking shit show. Next, we had Ilya Dragunov versus Walter for the NXT UK Championship. This was one of my favorite matches of the night. These two motherfuckers went to war. Walter came with everything from chops to the big splash off the top rope to devastating lariats. But in the end, Dragunov hits a sleeper on Walter. And Walter does not pass out. He taps out. And I'm like, holy shit. Ilya Dragunov is one tough son of a bitch. He truly is. I gave that a four out of five. Uh, I don't know where, where Walter's gonna, gonna go next. I think he probably will be on NXT television. And I could see him be in that main event scene along with LA Knight. So I think that's where he'll head next. I doubt if he'll, if he'll be on the main roster. If he does go to the main roster, it won't be till next year. I would imagine probably around WrestleMania time. So that's when I see him going to the main roster. Uh, if he does go to the main roster, I think he would do quite okay on Raw. I think that would be great for him to be in the mid card. Uh, and, you know, maybe capture capture the, the title from Damian Priest. You know, they could have a couple bangers. Uh, they could also turn Sheamus' face. I'd love to see uh, Valter and uh, McIntyre, Valter and Sheamus. I think it will be great, in my opinion. Moving on, we had Adam Cole versus Kyle O'Reilly. That was up next in a two out of three falls match. Basically, a.k.a. a three stages of hell match. Uh, the first fall was fairly quick. Kyle wins with, via a roll-up. He wins via a roll-up. Next was a street fight. That only lasted about 15 minutes. And at this part of the match, Adam Cole worked on the ribs of Kyle O'Reilly. And uh, it was a pretty good solid match. In the end, Adam Cole wins via the last shot. And then O'Reilly wins the third fall in, uh, via a heel hook in the steel cage. That was a short match. That was... Um, relatively short that third and final fall it only lasted i think like five to six minutes i get that four out of five so we more than likely saw adam cole's last match in the nxt i don't see him going to the main roster i feel he would suffer on the main roster he would and um that's just my take, I don't think he'll do well. Whether he goes to Raw or SmackDown, I just see him going to AEW. It makes sense, and he's better off for it. Now, if I'm Adam Cole, I really would not uh, show up until either the Go Home show of Go, uh, um, my bad, of All Out, or show up at All Out. I would prefer him show up. Uh, before all out, obviously. Well, no, no, never mind. No, no, no. He just needs to go ahead and show up at all out. Next, the main event: Samoa Joe versus Karrion Cross for the NXT Championship. This was a very good back and forth match, but Cross has not been the same, and he just seems like a regular run of the mill guy on NXT. And in the end, Joe was able to get out of the straight jacket, uh, my bad, out of the cross jacket. And he hit the muscle buster for the one, two, three. 
and he is now the new NXT champion and Cross is headed back to Monday Night Raw where he will eventually well he's already uh, on career suicide where he will continue on his path to career suicide I gave that a 3 out of 5 um so I'm guessing this is the last takeover for a while. And like I say, it was a pretty good show. It really was. But I don't know who's going to be Joe's first opponent. I don't know. Maybe maybe Walter. Uh it could be LA Knight. We just don't know. It could be either um, Carmelo Hayes or um, Odyssey Jones if uh, whoever wins the uh, breakout tournament finals. So it could uh, we could p potentially see that. But um, it was a very good show. It was not long. It ended uh, at about 10.25 p.m., which is good. So not too long. And it felt like most of these matches were important. That's uh, the gist of it all. So thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe for my videos. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Oh. And I think that when NXT does change, I think it'll be for the better. Um... I know for the next three weeks it's going to be taped, and uh, I might even do some reviews for you guys. But I think NXT will, will be fine. I think that with them changing, it's going to be for the better, and um, it does need to be revamped. It, it, it has to. There's no point of NXT being WWE's version of the Indies that never should have happened and I think now the AEW is officially in town and they are the new kids on the block NXT has no choice but to revamp themselves and to change themselves for the better so I'm here and I'm here for the ride and uh, I think it should be good I'll catch you guys later peace